Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Tracy and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Trisha's dying to I know. am dying to know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it different. That's okay. That's all right. Today we have a question from Gumboy. Yes. I think it was from a while ago, but yeah. Yeah. We, we, hi. We, hello. Hello. We used to hear from you a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Gumboy's question today is about flowers, Tracy. Flowers, yeah. floral arrangements at funerals, and mm. what styles and what colours are, are popular? What um, you know? Do people request? Do they take the flowers home? Does the family take the flowers home? Do they leave them at the gravesite? Do they get cremated with the body when it goes into the crem? All that sort of stuff. Tell us about flowers. Flowers. Oh, that's nice. Some brightness and some colours. Flowers. There's um. Well, the most popular that we use here in Queensland, Australia, Australia, Australia is um, a lot of Australian native plants. Beautiful. And they're really gorgeous. They're the big, Proteus. chunky. Yeah, you'll know the name of them all. I don't know the name of them, but the... the um, like the Banksia men. Yeah. The Proteus. Yeah. And mm. sometimes it's my favourite um, native from um, Great Britain or Scotland is thistles. There's a lot of them really blue ones get popped okay. in now oh, and then okay. that's quite popular in the natives oh, okay yeah you know which i know that's not native to yeah. oh, i mean australia but they are but it makes the natives because they you know them native ones you them names they're very big and gorgeous i don't know just because they're they're like a fawny brown to i like slightly pinky they're colors sort of very get. autumnal colors that's aren't right they? yeah mm. they've got a little yeah that's right like mm. chocolate colors i love chocolate mm. like but there's this chocolate there's mm. light chocolate there's latte colors you know all that kind of stuff and these little thistles sometimes just make it pop just yeah just give that and you notice them more mm. but anyway yes. so they're really really popular lots here. of gum leaves uh, yes mm. yes yes they smell beautiful too they do they yeah. are really nice and the, and they last a long time. Oh, yeah. A lot longer than your uh, other traditional flowers that will get used at, um, for uh, funerals. High oil content. Oh, is that why they last a long time? The leaves do, yeah. Yeah, but it, they are usually beautiful and they're usually the natural, yeah, and they spread right out. Yeah. So they usually sit right across the, the, the lid of the coffin uh, as the normal, like, display but it's usually really big and long and it's just fabulous and i like because they're they're a little less stylized and a little less placed they're yes. more natural they're just sort of put there yeah and they fall more naturally and they do they're not they obviously are arranged because their flower arrangers are pretty mm. awesome and they do a great job so they are arranged but it looks like the wild but not mm. if you know what i mean so they mm. look like they've they obviously have been put together professionally but they also look Natural. Yeah, organic. Yeah, that's the word, yeah. Mm. You're great with words, Trisha. I wonder why. <laughs> You're really good. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so they're the main uh, popular ones that we use here. And um, Does anyone have, like, one? roses or yes. carnations? Or... Yes. So what's popular these days as well as them is if people are having the roses or carnations, it's their multicolored ones now. Oh, really? Yeah, have you seen them? Oh, I've got a word for that, but I'm not going to say it yeah, here. Yeah, have you, you've seen them, yeah, haven't yeah. you? They're all different. Yeah, yeah. The gen, I think they're genetically being made. Yep. Yeah, there's Some a of them are spray them. painted too. Yeah, well, a lot of roses do get spray painted because uh, the family want black. You know, like black. That's cool. Black roses yeah. is cool. And they look gorgeous against mm. some of the red. Mm. You know, they so mm. uh, red and black are quite popular. But if there's just roses, red roses are quite popular. If they're using just the red, and they're hot house flowers, aren't they? So with the long stems, yes. and they're very um, not artificial, but they're very perfect. They're oh, all they're the very same. Perfect, and very, yeah. But if yep. they're in a um, if they're in a casket spray, they are just cut down and put into yeah. the position with all that other baby's breath. Yeah, baby's breath and. The, like or sometimes just green greenery yeah, yeah. greenery Foilage. against the uh, yeah against the red yeah or the white roses yeah. uh, are really nice do people do a lot of those you know when they're like uh, an easel and they've got the oh, flowers on the easel with the with picture the and all that stuff or the name or the letter or something very rare yeah good because they're a bit rare. strange like when mom and dad i always and, think they're a bit mm, yeah i don't like them mm, either no. they're very nah. each to their own 
Yeah, no, we don't actually do many of them good. at all. That's it's good. a lot of casket sprays or, you know, bouquets. Um, the carnations and roses are very, very popular. And lilies. Mm. Lil lilies, the white. They'll always be popular yeah. for females, won't they? But yeah. They sit nicely on a coffin. Yeah, they do. But uh, lilies always, to me, indicate death. <laughs> I think it's That's why people use them. I think that, well, that must be, but I don't like that fact that they associated with that because they're a nice flower, you know. That's weird. It's a funeral. Yeah, I know, but it's a celebration of life. Okay. I just, I'm not a lily girl, you know. It's not a lily girl. Yeah. I'm the, the gorgeous looking I'm flowers. I'm not a rose and, girl. You know, well, not those like roses. That. I like um, cottage roses. Yeah. Open blooms yeah, and yeah. loose flowery. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah. always liked carnage. Uh, I like the black roses. Uh, the black roses are, roses are cool. And sometimes uh, a lot of the roses get glitter sprayed on mm. them. You, you know, like those. Sparkly. I like, I like sparkly stuff. So, uh, But my favourite flower, my total overall favourite flower. For funerals or for life? Just for me. Yeah. <laughs> just putting it out there. Are daffodils. Right. It just, okay. Because it indicates spring in the UK and we have daffodils growing along the side of the roads and I've just always liked daffodils. Are they bright aren't they? Yeah bright yellowy and when you know they're coming out of winter in the UK and it's like oh the daffodils are coming you go oh it's spring. Nice. But it's never that warm but yeah they're my favourite flowers. That's cool. They're my almost ultimate favourite flowers but that's not what it's about. <laughs> it's about the most popular ones we use so yeah and do they take them home? Some families will take them home, um, the casket sprays, they'll take them home and split them between families. So they'll take, you know, a bit and uh, give them to each of the families. Uh, do people preserve them like they do wedding bouquets? I think some, but not many right. will do that. Mm. Um, or they will stay with the coffin and if be buried, will be buried with the coffin or be cremated if they go uh, to be cremated. A lot of the times um, the the family sometimes just don't want them back and want them taken off the coffin for burial or cremation. And the, they ask us to donate the flowers to a nursing home. Yeah, you know, so we if we do that, we pull them out. Yeah. We don't take <laughs> it's not it. really appropriate to put a coffin spray on the yeah. dining table at a nursing home. No, no, we can just, just pull them out, make little bouquets, yeah, tie pretty. them in Cute. ribbons and, you know, and donate nice. them. I assume a lot of people, too, take them off the coffin, lower the coffin into the ground, cover it up and then put them on the grave. That's a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, they do that a lot, you yeah. know. If they're not being buried underground with the coffin there we will remove them and then once the uh, groundsmen have filled everything in they will put them back on top because after a burial once the burial's happened there's a cage that goes across no the cage is to stop the family or anybody from falling in and we put the roses uh, sorry we put the flowers on top oh, of hang that on, cage. hang on hang on hang on backtrack what yeah, so you know when a coffin's lowered yes Okay, yes. once it's lowered and anybody's thrown sand or yeah. dirt or anything in and we've took the flowers off and the flowers are to go on top of the grave, we have to, after everybody's done all that, there's a there's a mesh uh, safety, like, thing. safety thing that has to go over oh, the I didn't top. know that. Yeah, it's a, it's a health Because the guys thing. might not come in until tomorrow to yeah. fill it in. Yeah, that's right. So that goes over and what we do is then put the flowers on that. On that. You know, so the the, uh, guy, the the people that are filling the grave in be it the next day, no, or that afternoon, yeah. know that well. One, it's safety because if anybody's visiting the graveyard, only next that's next that's been there for years, they'll fall in. So it it's a safety thing. So it's actually that's a bit unsettling to think that they might not be covered in that day. Well, I think they might get covered that day. I think they have to. It's not left overnight, but it's a safety thing for once we've all left. Yes, the family's left. Could be somebody sitting in the car waiting to come and visit their loved one and the grave's right next to them. Yeah. They might walk across and not realise there's an open Dunk. grave there. And, you know, so it, so our flowers, okay. we sit on top of that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and plus then it's visual and you can see the flowers and you can yeah. clearly see there's a fresh grave just, you know, yeah. just happens. So in that a lot of people will be respectful and walk around because they can just see there's, you know. It's open. It's an open um uh, area so yeah so yeah they're, they're the popular ones and yes they go home or sometimes they don't go home or they'll just sometimes don't want them and donate them to us to say give them to nursing homes or for us to even have if we want to take one you know a rose or a, a native home you know so yeah so good question Gumbo. sorry I'll, I'll answer that one but uh do you care yeah. what my favorite flower is 
I thought, did I not do, oh, sorry, that's me being rude. What is your favorite flower? Nasturtiums that aren't a flower that you have in a bunch, but they're nasturtiums because you grow them in your garden and they go all rambly and they attract the bees. Please, can you put a photo of that? Because I don't know what a nasturtium is. You do know. Do I? Yes. How I'll put it? a photo. Nasturtium. There's no mer, mer nasturtium. Nasturtium. I've never, I've never heard that word before. Do you know what they are? They're my favourite flower. And I need to know what they look like. You're going to have to show me a picture. I will. I'll show you. And then I'll go, ah, I know. Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Look Bye. after yourselves. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Till next so, time. Till next time. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. I don't know what they are. They're oh. in all those gardens out there. They're rambly. They're little. You have them in salad. They're orange and yellow, and they've got um rambly stems oh, and the green little yeah. heart shaped leaves yeah yeah they're just, yeah ugh, everywhere they're free yeah, for they're me. pretty yeah i like them yeah they're my favorite yeah they're pretty they are pretty